Tears of Mithril. Den of Thieves, read by Sky Alley, Part 5, Stealth. This is getting ridiculous, Elvin was explaining. The way they all talk about each other, you would think that there is no trust in this town at all. They all seem to have someone in mind that stole something from them at some point, and they all seem to be the suspect of a different theft somewhere else. The three of them had made their way back to the inn. The sun was working its way down the sky again, and the streets seemed to have calmed, as most of the townsfolk were having their supper. Through the open doors of the tall building, they could make out a few people sat at tables, eating and drinking, and at the far end, Miss Green seemed to be talking to someone. The conversation was evidently getting quite heated as she began throwing her hands up in the air, and they could see she was shouting about something. The three turned back to each other. Are you sure it was a child you saw? Elvin asked Derville. Certain of it, she replied. The figure I saw was shorter than any of the adults I've seen around this town. I wonder. Elvin stroked his chin thoughtfully. You said that they were staggering out, didn't you? Is it possible they were kneeling or something? Derville laughed. What? And hobbling their way across the street? Yes. Elvin looked quite serious. Derville stopped laughing and rounded on him. Are you seriously suggesting... Look over there. Elvin broke in. You see that man talking to Miss Green? Ducky and Derville both looked in through the doorway. They nodded. This is going to sound mad, Elvin went on. But I have seen him all over the town today, everywhere we've been. Look, he's wearing a cloak. Even in the bright sunlight, he does not want to be properly seen. What do you make of that? That you're right, Derville turned back to Elvin. You are mad. All right, then. Elvin looked taken aback. You two keep everyone talking in the inn. I will follow that man when he leaves and see where he goes. You do not have to believe me. Just help me to find out for sure. I have a hunch. Derville sighed. You're serious, aren't you? She looked him up and down. Okay, I'll help you. Elvin smiled. But on one condition. She raised a finger in the air and held him in her gaze for a moment. What's that? He asked. That you do the distracting. She turned to the inn. And I do the sneaking. She turned back. Anyone could hear you coming. You're about as stealthy as... as... She thought hard for a comparison. As Ducky. Elvin laughed. Ducky looked slightly taken aback, but began to laugh too. You have a deal. Elvin smiled. Derville walked off. Happy hunting, Elvin called after her. Elvin and Ducky continued on into the inn. For a moment, the whole room seemed to fall silent. They made their way over to the bar, and the conversations and general chatter started up again. The cloaked figure turned on them. It was an older man with a short white beard. He was shorter than Elvin, and a long way shorter than Ducky, but he looked sternly up at both of them, then moved off quickly towards the door. Elvin watched him leave. A movement in the street outside seemed to be Derville heading off to track him. Elvin smiled. Can we get some supper? He asked loudly, turning back to the counter. Miss Green looked flustered, but straightened up at the request and forced a smile. Certainly, she said. Just for the two of you? Yes, Elvin said. Our friend is still out doing some shopping. She will join us a bit later. Very good. Miss Green made her way out to the kitchens, and Ducky and Elvin sat down at an empty table. A little while later, they were brought plates of meat and bread and each a bowl of steaming broth. Ducky called for ale, gulping down the first he was given and then calling for another. Elvin asked for wine and was soon brought a bottle of it. The sun began to set outside as they ate and drank and watched as more people found their way in from a hard day's work and ordered their own food. Each of the tables seemed quite insular, with little or no conversation between the groups that came in. Looking around, Elvin could see a small stage in one corner, although there seemed to be no sign of any musicians having played here in quite a while. 
They finished their food and were just starting to wonder how Derville was getting on when suddenly there came a great commotion from outside. A crowd of people seemed to be coming up towards the door. The town guard they had met the night before stepped in and banged the butt of his pole axe hard down onto the floor. The whole room fell silent. What's going on here? Miss Green called from the counter. It looks like we've caught the thief, the guard declared loudly to the room. Apprehended whilst casing out another robbery by the looks of it. Caught him halfway up a wall. Elvin smiled, leaning in towards Ducky. See, I knew it was. His words tailed off, though, as the old man came running in behind the guard. I told you. I told you. He was declaring excitedly. I knew it. Miss Green came running around to meet him. You mean? She began. Yes, he continued. I saw them going round, checking out all the houses. He turned and pointed at Elvin. Happy hunting, you said. Well, now the hunter's being hunted. He hopped gleefully on the spot. I checked with the local barracks. There's no military police round here at the moment. Elvin's stomach lurched. He and Ducky both stood up as the room of people began to mass around them. What is going on here? Elvin cried out. Just then, more figures came in through the doorway, drawing behind them another, wrists tied, stumbling forwards. Derville! Tales of Mithrim are written by Jimmy Clefay. Mithrim is a fantasy world built for the dungeon room role-playing game system. To find out more about the world of Mithrim, or to try out the game, go to www.mithrim.com.